So for those who are kind of new to this genre, the monster girl thing is pretty much... See, there are different types of monster girl shit, and I'm going to go into it because I'm a weird bastard and because I'm, I like the series, so I might as well explain to you what kind of monster girl shit it is. See, there's like three types of furry type shit, because people think that this is furry. It's not. Furry is just like stray animals. Like, furry, is, if anything, it's like... Fur furries is more along the line of anthros and shit, which are pretty much like mainly animal characters with like human characteristics like a like a bunny woman is pretty much a fucking bunny a giant bunny with like curves like a woman not but it's still like a bunny face bunny hands bunny feet tail ears all that shit it still looks like a rabbit just like an overly sexualized version or a male version which just looks like a fucking male bunny with the same shit but like with a full body like, a, like, it has, like, the body structure of a man. That's literally it. Monster Girls are completely different. Because Monster Girls is what things like, I guess, Felicia from Darkstalkers would kind of go into the realm of. Which are pretty much more human-type characters with, like, Monster Girl features. In Felicia's case, it was cat ears, a tail, paws, and shit. And this series is about the same thing.